Hi, welcome to the Math Resource Showcase. I'm Amber Soto, and we're going to continue playing today with logic puzzles. The website I'm going to show you today, though, is a little bit tricky because there's several different puzzles, and the site always starts with the word puzzle and then dash and then the name of the puzzle you're learning.com. We are going to learn today bridges. So B R I D G E S dot com. So puzzle dash bridges dot com. And you'll see here that it brings up bridges, which is also called hashi. But if you scroll down here, there are all kinds of different logic puzzles that you can play with. And this includes Sudoku, some of the um, more popular ones that people know about, but also a lot that you've probably never heard of. It always puts the rules on the side over here, and then it gives you options of how big or how difficult you want your grid to be. So we're just gonna give the one they gave us today. We're gonna keep it simple. Um, I'm gonna read through the rules kind of at a point so I can show you. Um, the idea behind bridges is you want everything to eventually be connected. You can only connect directly across, left or right, or up and down. You can't cross over another bridge or go through an island. It has to be one island to the next. And the most you can have between any two islands is two bridges. So you can always have either one or two between two islands. All right, so let's kind of see what this looks like. I always go to my biggest numbers first because it makes sense to me to kind of fill those out. So this has to have six between it. So I grab and drag, and then I'm gonna do two this way, two this way, and two this way, because that's the only thing I can do with the six. I can't do any other direction because it's on the edge here. So my six is taken care of. I can click it, put a slash through it, there are six there. Again, my four, there's only two coming out there and the only other direction I can go is this way. So I'm gonna drag two across there. And now we have four bridges coming out from my island that says four. Also this two is taken care of because it's connected by the two to the six. Okay, now this three has two connected. It needs one more. Well look, directly below it, there's this one. So now this has three connected, that has one connected, we're good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at is this two. It can't connect to here because I already crossed that off. So that means both bridges have to connect to this five below. All right, that's taken care of. So I know that the five has to connect to the four here. I'm going to do two this way. And that means I have two, four. So far, I have one left to connect to the five. So I'm going to bring it down. And that takes care of the five. That cake takes care of the two. Now this four only has two bridges connected, so I'm gonna go two more this way. That takes care of the four. Now this five has two this way and two this way, that's four. It needs one more going down, and that takes care of the five. And then we look, we have a three and a three, and both of them have one, but they both need two more. So if we connect two bridges between them, that should be the correct solution. We press done. And then it says, congratulations, you've solved the puzzle and it gives the time. All right, so that is how you play bridges. I'm gonna try to give you another bridges. We had a seven by seven easy on that one. Um, let's see if we can do another seven by seven, do new puzzle here. Okay, so here is your new puzzle to try. I want you to look at it. Again, if you need to print it out, or if you need to pause and draw real quick little circles to make it look like that and then make the connections, or if you just wanna log on to puzzle-bridges.com and try it there, you can do that, all right? And I'll come back tomorrow with the solution to this particular problem. All right, with that said, I hope you have fun with this. As always, this is all about connections and growing your brain. If you make mistakes, it's okay, we learn from that. All right, I hope you have a beautiful day today, everybody. And as always, happy mathing.